Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Welcome to episode 4 of PvP vs PvP. And as you previously saw in the episode before this, we were running with the Retribution Paladin Dwarf in pure PvP gear. Now we are running as Dwarf with pure PvE gear. So you can expect the damage numbers to be substantially higher. Our survivability a little bit lower, but our damage definitely higher. Now I started this game right off the bat because honestly, I forgot to hit record right as I was going in. So I went ahead and started it right as I got into the battle. That druid annoyed the shit out of me this entire match. I guarantee you that now because he, I personally don't like rogues and druids. Not because I'm a sore loser or anything like that, but the stun locks are irritating. I've learned how to get out of them. I've learned to trinket or, you know, use Hand of Freedom or something or other. But just in general, they're very annoying with crippling poison and just the stuns and, you know, etc. So anyway, right here, we I went ahead and basically this entire match, I stuck with everybody as long as I could. It was very rare for me to stick with you know by myself because most of the time I get I got ganked 90% of the time I'm alone I usually get ganked by a, another rogue or you know something or other so I'm chasing this warrior down and I figured you know what let's have some fun I used repentance on him and he thought he could get away from the three of us but unfortunately he had a buddy come along and they both went down without a doubt now I guarantee you that in every single one of these videos, the PvE gear is definitely going to have a substantially amount of more damage, but that has nothing to do with it. Out of the PvP gear and the PvE gear, as a paladin, I definitely prefer PvP gear because of the survivability. You still hit like a truck, and you can survive easier. I had a subs I had a few so I had a select few of high numbers as the PvE gear, but definitely PvP gear all the way. When it came to the Fury Warrior, I would choose PvE gear because I just felt it was more fun as single-minded Fury uh, tree as the single-minded Fury tree in the PvE gear. Definitely more fun than PvP. Not quite sure why, but it was definitely more of my presence. Wow, my preference. I'm sorry. So as you saw right there, I went ahead and threw a hammer, and I got a 15k. I mean. That's just, that's ridiculous. And we continuously got camped at Lighthouse in this match because they went ahead and capped it and they wouldn't leave it alone. And I was like, okay, well, we need to find a way to get rid of all them. And guess what? Didn't work. But you guys could see how quickly I went down. Even though there were a bunch of them there, with PvE gear, you go down much faster. And... Right here, I saw my buddy getting totally just, you know, two-teamed by a sh an elemental shaman and that rogue. And this shaman, to be honest, knew what he was doing. He knew how to keep me away from him, but not long enough for me to... Oh! Hit him with 11k Crusader Strike. Then I got a 19k hammer on that rogue. Two kills in one. Stole both of them. That's what I'm talking about. You know, Paladin, definitely fun. It is definitely a fun class. If you haven't run, if you haven't rolled a Retribution Paladin for PvP, I recommend it. It definitely has its perks. I mean, you've got a bunch of things to, you know, pop. And it's just, it's all around, it's just a great class to play. As you guys can see here, I am popping crits off the bat. 22k, 22k, 20k. You know, it's just like, how many more crits? And my crit chance was only like 5%. So it definitely shows, you know, and I mean, it had a buff due to the different buffs in the um, the raid in the party, but it wasn't enough to, you know, have a huge amount. And I got another 21k um, Crusader Strike. You guys, this is ridiculous, just off the bat, you know, it's just, they're, they're just going down without a fight. They are just getting smashed into the ground. It is great. I love it. But, you know, truthfully, I'm not one to talk about the battleground unless there's something I seriously want to talk about. Most of it is just, you know, 
me laughing and watching it while explaining what I want. And I know I repeat the same things over and over again, but I'm going to do my best to go ahead and change that. Right here, we went ahead and we decided to take down the ally or the horde trying to get rid of the or trying to take our base back. And then once she popped her bubble, I was like, okay, well, why don't we go ahead and try and get on this warrior? Little did I know, I wasn't paying attention to time that she was a holy paladin. So I knew this wasn't going well. I was done. There was no doubt. And I'm still trying to learn. I. It took me a little while to learn how to, you know, set up my character, set up this paladin, you know, as to whether I want haste, crit, or mastery. I learned that haste is definitely a benefit because of the, it affects your Crusader Strike cooldown. And Crusader Strike is one of your main abilities other than Judgment and Temple, Templar's Verdict. And then your occasional exorcism when Art of War pops. But for me, my basic rotation is popping Judgment onto them so that I can not only get the haste bonus but just the small little speed bonus and then I go ahead and I gain up four holy or three holy power and then by that point I've probably got you know a, you know enough health that I can go ahead and throw up Templar's Verdict but if things get real bad then I go ahead and pop my cooldowns so I'm talking Zealotry, Avenging Wraith, Inquisition and then if needed my Guardian and I can hit like a truck you know it's definitely a fun class, you guys. I definitely recommend it. But go PvP if you guys plan on PvPing. Don't use PvE gear. <laughs> yes, there are two Divine Guardians up. There was a, another Retribution Paladin here. And I figured, you know what, we'd be able to take them down. But I wasn't paying attention enough to see all of the other classes around me. Because I was just trying to focus on killing those the ones I was aiming on. But you guys, definitely, if you haven't tried a class... I recommend trying it you know it's some people are, are very strict on setting into one you know one class don't you know learn to use each class maybe not necessarily the different specs when it comes to like healing and tanking but you know try DPS I've tried every single DPS class um I have my few that I don't really prefer uh, you know like I'm not one I don't like rogues all that much because they're just I'm not great with energy conservation it takes me a little while to get used to but all the other classes I have a great time with my DK I'm I, you know I love my DK great with my DK and then Paladin is definitely another one of my favorites but when it comes to DPS my all-time favorite is definitely an elemental shaman which you guys stay tuned for that you will see the massive amount of crits the damage that goes on and it's just, it's so much fun. So, we decided we'd chase down this, this, um, druid. And he got up here and he started healing himself. And we were like, what the hell? How is this possible? And by the time we knew it, we had half of their freaking team on us. And we were like, shit. And I don't know how, but this druid regained a shit ton of his health back. Um... And I didn't even see him heal himself, so it definitely wasn't, you know, him healing himself. But it might have been the savage or the, the regeneration that from his bear form. I don't know. But once all these guys popped up, I knew there was no getting out of this. I tried as hard as I could, but there was just... Once I was throw down, it was done, you know. So, that's it, you guys. See ya. Oh, and uh, I'd like to mention, stay tuned for episode 5, where we will be running with the Frost DK. Alright guys, see you next time.